Pika Pika. Hey fellow trainers and welcome to another edition of Chew and Tell Tuesdays. Well this episode is about the fun I had the last few days. Um, I was actually in Orlando at the or Orange County Convention Center where they hold an annual event and it's called Megacon. And it was amazing. I'm like still so very tired. I probably look like a zombie too right now. But and I still have, you can't see in the picture, but I still have my cosplay all over the floor. I still need to put away and sort all my stuff away. But yes, I was at Megacon this past weekend. And I want to give a shout out to James. He's the owner of Megacon, who is really amazing. And I want to thank him for having me out as a special guest and for having Peekabug come out with its really cool display. I actually added 10 more standees to it, so they keep adding each convention I do. But yes, I was at Megacon, so this week's episode will be about Megacon and all the stuff that I got. Also, I want to start off saying that I want to thank everybody who took pictures with me in my car. You guys were amazing. It was so cool to meet new people, make new friends. And I want to thank everybody who came to my panels. My Pokemon panel, my introduction to cosplay panel with other cosplay guests who are totally talented and amazing people. And also my Disney panel. Also, my Pokemon photo shoot was really cool. I love seeing you guys what you did with Pokemon. And the trainers who came too, you guys look really cool. And also we went to Dave and Buster Saturday night and had fun. So, yes, Megacon was a blast and now I'm trying to recuperate. It's like I got a con hangover now, but all in all, really great time. So, picked up a few things at Megacon. I shall start with this guy. Call him Bapachu. He's got like a balloon in his head. And he just pretty much bounces. And he's got like a bell in his head. Um, I got this glass. Which features Pikachu and the notch-eared Pikachu, if you guys remember him. has Pikachu and Notchered Pichu on it. So I'll add that to my kitchen part of my museum. I'm actually going to add this too. It's like a spoon. Looks like it was a promotional Kellogg's item. Looks like he made noise at one time because he has like a voice box here. Also picked up these tins that had candy in it. Um, they feature both the subway in the airplanes that featured Pokemon. So you have Pikachu here as a pilot. And it has scenes of Pikachu with the airplanes. And this is Conductor Pikachu. And it features the subway that has Pokemon all over it in Japan. Also picked up these tokens. They're like gaming tokens in Japan. Got Pensino, Dendene, and Pikachu. And speaking of Dendene, I also love Dendene, so I had to get this cute little plushie of him. He's holding a little strawberry in his mouth. Gotta love my electric types. I also found this little cute little charm of Pikachu and Pichu. Also, I got some stuff from friends. Um, since Megacon is so huge, like over 80,000 people attend this convention, so it's kind of hard to meet up with people, especially when I'm here, there, and everywhere doing panels and photo shoots and meet and greets and all that stuff. But every time I came back to the Peekabug, it had like little presents for me. Um, this one's from my friend uh, Teresa. It says, Peekabell, sorry I did not see you. Wanted to give you this. So she gave me a bunch of Pokemon cards and stickers. So thank you, Teresa. Also got this. This is from my friend Erica. It's basically a little Pikachu vending machine. It's really unique. You like turn this and it like spits out a little capsule with a little Pokemon sticker inside. So that's pretty cool. I don't have anything like this in my collection. Whoops, there it goes. So thank you, Erica. And as an early birthday present, my boyfriend got me what I'm about to show you. In fact, it's going to be used for an upcoming cosplay. So, take one look at it and guess what you think I'm doing. Yes, may the force be with Chew. 
I will be doing a Jedi Pikachu. So, it's really cool. It makes lightning effects and thunder. So I should be debuting this soon. I'm going to have to design it. This is by Ultra Sabers. All you Star Wars people probably know that these guys make really high quality lightsabers. And they are pretty badass, so to speak. So, look forward to the future that I will be doing a Jedi-inspired Pikachu cosplay. And last but not least, I mentioned I went to Dave & Buster's and had a lot of fun with friends and stuff. And while there, I actually hit the jackpot not once, but twice. And because of that, I actually got this as a prize. Y'all remember Chuzilla from last year. I got him at the Strawberry Festival. He is a big guy. Here's Chuzilla. You guys remember Chuzilla? Yes. Well now, with Chuzilla, I added his son. This is what I got at Dave & Buster's. We have now the son of Chuzilla. He's a little bit smaller, but together they're going to terrorize the neighborhood together. So we got Chuzilla and son of Chuzilla. So with that, I'm going to end this video, and thanks again, Mepicacon, for having me as a guest and all the amazing cosplayers I've seen. And I'm going to end this video with different pictures from Megacon. So, till next year, guys, train on! Thank you.